In this video, we'll look at how to use the sum if function to sum cells that meet a single criteria. Let's take a look. The sum if function sums cells that satisfy a single condition that you supply. It takes three arguments range, criteria, and sum range. Note that sum range is optional. If you don't supply sum range, sum if will sum the cells in range instead. For example, if I want to sum the cells in this range that contain the number 15, I enter B7 to B12 for the range and 15 for the criteria. There's no need to enter a sum range since we're summing the same cells used in the condition. Excel then returns 30 because two cells in the range contain 15. If I temporarily enter another 15, that result will change. You can add logical operators to the criteria. To sum cells with a value greater than 15, I enter the criteria greater than 15 in double quotes. You can easily move the criteria out onto the worksheet so that it's easier to change. For example, I can enter another formula that sums cells greater than 15 by referring to cell B18 with the same logical operator. Notice that I need to enclose the operator in double quotes and use the ampersand to concatenate the reference. Now I can easily change the value in B18 and sum if will automatically adjust the criteria and calculate a new result. In the next example, we have text values in column D and numbers in column E. To sum the total quantity of apples, the range is D7 to D12, and the criteria is apple, in double quotes. The sum range is E7 to E12. Note that sum if is not case sensitive and returns 15. You can use empty double quotes to sum blanks. Sum if also supports wildcards. The letters PE plus an asterisk will return 32 because sum if will sum all pears and peaches. Four question marks will cause sum if to match pear because it's the only item with four characters. You can use sum if with dates as well. The first example sums amounts for dates that are greater than January 1, 2013. The next three examples use sum if to sum amounts for dates before 2012. The first formula uses the full date. The second formula uses the date function to get the same result. Note the concatenation between the operator and date. In the final example, Sum if refers to a date in cell G19 where it can be easily changed. Notice that sort order does not affect the sum if calculation.